G day, people! This is Sharpena here. Welcome you guys to episode number 24 of the Pokemon X Safari Log. If you guys are excited for today's episode and of course you're a proud member of the Sharp Squad, make sure you hit like button down below for us because as always, your support's very appreciated. In the last episode, you guys, we made our way through to the rest of the lights in the labs and we made our way to find the secret base at GSM Sit Town where the real secret weapon, the ultimate weapon from 3,000 years ago was buried until Team Flair decided to unearth it and wreak havoc on anything that is not Team Flair. Our mission today is to make sure that doesn't happen. And how are we going to do it? With the good Pokemon team, of course. So let's go ahead and have a look at our team that we have with us right here today. We do have ourselves Dr. V, the shiny Weevil. Look at that sass, that sexiness. Haha, <laughs> oh yeah. Next we got RuPaul the Gorgeist. And you have a Prism Scale. Oh shit. Well we've got a Phoebus. We can evolve it to a Milotic, which would be awesome. We got Bishop, the Bishop, which is meant to be Blade 2, but it lost its name. We got Salazzle the Heliolisk. Billy, oh Billy! The Sork. And Uluru the Gigalith. So let's go ahead. Take the prism scale off RuPaul, so maybe you might pick up another good item, like, I don't know, a Master Ball? I now won't pick up Master Ball, but anyways. So, we defeated Lice in the last episode, today it is, let's go, let's hurry! Bitch, I'm talking to people! Don't interrupt me! And now I've got these lunatics. I'm afraid we're gonna have to ask you to turn back. The legendary Pokemon is at the end of the chamber, after all. Why would you tell me that? That's not information I was privy to, but thanks, I guess, but why did you tell them that? Who would even do something like that? See, even the grunt has more sense than this admin. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck, bro? Why would you tell us information that could only help us? But I mean, hey, I'm not going to say no, they exist. So we got some Lipard and a Krogog. Let's go, Dr. V, as Serena sent out a Meowstic. Look at that, that glow. Now. I'm really afraid of this toxic crow going for a fine type, but nope, 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 nope. We are getting the F out of here, boy. So, looking at this matchup here, honestly, Billy seems to be the most appropriate matchup. Now, you know what? You know what? Uluru. Wait. I am an idiot! That's a fine type weakness, too, idiot! What the fuck, bro? Well, unless Serena actually makes the right move and actually kills the toxic crow. Then I have nothing to worry about. But in Pokemon games, you can't always rely on your partner to make the right move. Taunt, making sure it's not the prankster version. I suppose that was a good move. Let's go for a smackdown. Disarming that is super effective, but not stab. Go to the night slash. Couldn't kill that Meowstic. No! Smackdown! I lay the smack down on your candy ass, as Dwayne the Rock Johnson would say. Do you smell what Uluru is cooking? No, me either. Start cooking. <laughs> All right, so we've got our first victory through. Let's go. Serena looks so proud of herself. I mean, look, I'm happy that she got the right kill. So I mean, I'm happy about that. I get what Lyson's trying to say, but uh, Serena, you don't need to explain to me. Even if things are just to be heard, I can't believe they're sending smart guys like us to run off some little Rattata that wanted in. The little Rattata, bitch, I'm in a lonely eradicate. Fuck off. We won't lose, you won't get one step farther. The train's moving on the next level will be Team Flare. What other team would there be? Team Galactic? Team Plasma? Team Rocket? Dumb asses. Next up is Manectric and Mytana. So now... Dr. B can actually stick around! Hey! So, the biggest threat I can see on this uh, team here is the fact that my team... Oh, okay. We're gonna get that Intimidate drop here. Luckily that Manetric is not Mega, so we can get a double Intimidate. But, for the sake of our friend here, Mr. Meowsting, we're gonna have to try to tackle that Mighty Anna, because... My... Okay, well, don't need my help. Fuck me. Can we get the attack boost? Nope. Discharge. Oh, shit! Takes out his own partner. Wow, what a what a great Team Rocket admin. Takes out your own Grunts Pokemon. You are a gem. You are a goddamn gem. You know that? You know that? 
Go for a faint attack, it's gonna do a little bit of damage, and we get static. Are you serious? Come on! And it's not gonna kill, Psyche's gonna come through. That should not get the kill. But we have spare anyway, so we're gonna go for another faint attack. Wait! Oh yeah, we're paralyzed. Oops. Well, I could have saved from Yastic dying, but it doesn't really matter. Doesn't it doesn't really matter. Because the battle is over. And Dr. V putting the work on these two. Seriously, this these admins are terrible. Seriously, the first one was like telling us information that we didn't need to know, which would only help us. And this one he just kills it off her own partner. Like, I mean, like fuck. Fuck a bitch up. Alright, so we're going to get a full restore there, so now we've all... Our Dr. V is back in action. Dr. V, you know what the V stands for? VICTORY! That's what it stands for. Shapina, Serena! Oh god, who the hell let this little retatter in, speaking of retatter? I don't believe it, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, I know, I'm just going to slow you down. She really is. But, but friends should stick together. I'm the one who should be apologizing. You came all this way out here and I wasn't even very considerate of your fears. She's a fucking ten year old! Why would you want to bring on the sting to stop a mega evil organization? What the hell's wrong with you, Serena? Bro, friends and everything are cool, but come on! Be logical! You are right, friends should stick together. Shop in it, we should all get together, right? But, exactly. I know you're concerned because it's dangerous, but it would be more dangerous for her to go back alone. Okay, I guess you have a point there, I'll give you that one. Sean, let's go together. Okay, thank you! <sighs> Great. Now we're stuck babysitting Serena. Uh, babysitting Shauna. This is why you don't trust 10 year olds. Seriously. They're too smart. Oh, great. The admin gave me information. Our plans haven't succeeded yet. We can't afford to make any careless mistakes. Who's got the flare? Woo! Team flare. Yeah, we got that flare. Team flare. Um, guys, if you're going to say the flare like that, I'm going to have to go woo every time I hear that. Because, you know, Rick Flair. Gotta love that intro music of, of um, Ric Flair. Oh shit! Okay, Dr. V want no part in this matchup. Oh boy. So we got Dark Fighting and Dark Fire. Which Dr. V just goes, Nope, I want no part in this. So I'm like, Fair enough, fair enough. So our only answer is. Billy! Come on, Billy! Oh, Billy! Billy's here! Fake out. Eh, I guess that was okay. Scary face. What are you playing? Well, it wasn't me at least. That's cool. Alright, let's go for a... Good God. Fuck. Let's go for a Brick Break on the Houndoom. Because Brick, because Houndoom has no defense. Case in point. Sorry, Houndoom, I love you, but I had to do that. The game made me. The game made me! Disarmy voice, which is quite effective, but not stab. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'd be very surprised if they got the kill. And now I get the speed drop. You motherfucker. You M. F. I just, I just lost myself mid thought. I was just like, you mo. F. <laughs> And that was a crit too. Yastic, bro, you're trash. Come on now. And Dr. Vizel 57. Way! Well, at least we're clearing out these little. <laughs> these Rotatas. <laughs> Bunch of Rotatas. He called me a Rotata. Bro, I'm allowed to eradicate. See his cheeks? I, I, I can't have my teeth out and puff my cheeks out, but you get the idea. Alright, so. Yeah, I think we'll let Billy lead off here. Billy's been doing such a fantastic job here. Billy, you know, I'm not going to do it again because I know some of you guys are getting annoyed. It's like, oh my god, Chris, we get it. You keep saying it every time you hear Billy. Yeah, anyway, we have to hurry to stop it. Serena, why are you saying the obvious? No, we're just going to walk into stare and go, huh. So that's it, huh? Okay, let's leave. Bro. It's an electric, electronic block. What's the game away? The doll pad? What should we do? This might help. It's a device that helps you when you're stuck in a puzzle. Clement gave it to me. An electronic le lock and a puzzle are the same sort of thing, right? Well, not really. 
But if it helps proceed the story, I guess I'll go along with it. Ta-da! The lock opened! Oh! And the device actually broke. Well, one use only. Fuck me, it's a Pokemon game, alright? Amazing, Shauna! You and Anklemon's device are both full of surprises. So, we're finally here. The legendary Pokemon inside. Let's go help it. Ooh, the ominous slow opening of the door. <gasps> there it is! Xerneas! The Pokemon of life. We're in the deepest part of the headquarters. It's somehow hard to breathe in here. Hey! Is that thing that looks like a tree? The legendary Pokemon? And you wonder why I didn't want to bring her along. It doesn't look it's alive, but... Shit! Lights off, lights on, boom! Six admins. That's none of your business, kids. The ultimate weapon has taken 99% of the legendary Pokemon's energy. How the hell can you tell that without looking at the screens or anything? But just to make double sure nothing goes wrong, let's take out these runs. No, I hate being chased! You're 10 years old, you love it. Oh, Shauna, this again? Yeah, pretty much. And you wonder why, Serena, you wonder why I didn't want to bring her along. Instead of being chased out being alone, she's going to be chased out with you chasing her. So you know what? You're giving yourself in position. So I hope you're happy with your decision. Sharpina, you take care of things here. I'll protect Shauna. What else is new? Make sure to take care of those runs that ran away. I should ex I should have expected this much from kids who made it clear down here. It was a pretty simple tactic, but it managed to split us up. That girl's pretty good. So you really think you can beat us? Uh, yeah, I would have made through this game long enough without fucking making a, making a name for myself. The only thing is, if you crit me, I'm going to scream and go, ah! You know, like every other time I get crit. Okay, so Life is the first Pokemon off the bat, and we are in a good position because guess what? Billy is here saying, what up? What up, Billy? Brick Break, that's what up. Yeah! Looked at that Life Pod like it was a chopping block, and went, yeah! Just break its back. Next up, Manetric. Alright. Close combat attack! Oh god, outspeeds. And guys for bite? Bruh, I'm a fighting type! What do you expect? Yah! He ya! Billy! Oh, it's a crit too! Don't need to crit matter. But it was a, he got the job done, god damn. And Billy's level 57. Ugh. Good gosh, I don't know what is with me. I was, like a, you know that feeling you get after you eat? about half an hour after you get like, a, it's like a trap burp, and it's just like, it's just lingering there. You can feel it, and you're like, can you just get the fuck out of my chest? Like seriously, I don't give you a bleh, but just get out. Anyways, now I've just got that lovely image in your guys' heads. Um, yeah, let's go Slazzle. Let's, 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 let's Slazzle, Helios the Slazzle, which I think is Slazzle the Helios. <laughs> you watch, I'll do a Let's Play with uh, Moon and Sun. I'll call the, Sol I'll call the Solander um, Helios, you know, just for, just for, just for GP. Alright, so Squad is here, just in time for Salazar to go. It's not Gen 7, but I'm here. Alright, let's go for a Thunderbolt. Yeah! Woo! Damn it! I will say, I do like Squad's spaghetti mustache. Makes me a little bit hungry. Or makes me look like he hasn't finished eating yet. It's like, oh bro, you got a little, a little something there. That, or it's like mustard from like a hot dog. <laughs> I like hot dog. Alright, so that's two admins down, two to go. Who would have thought this would be so easy? I didn't know. As long as you don't crit me, then we're fine. Alright, next. Taking all the money and stuff for ourselves will make the world where Team Flair is happy. Well, no, that just makes you a bunch of assholes. Some people. Some people. My Tiana's out. My Tiana, the villainous... The villainous dog. Every single villainous group uses it. Because they've got no other bad dog types to suit it. Then Gen 5 came out and they got a whole flurry of options. They got Bishop, they got Manda Buzz, they got so many different options. Oh god. I swear, I feel like it's coming. <laughs> Hopefully by the end of this episode it'll come out and it'll be like, Hey! Chris got the burp out! Woo! This won't come out. <laughs> this is a really, it's a real big struggle guys, you, have not, you, you guys have no idea. Alright, so Houndoom is here, let's go for a surf on this Houndoom here. Rise and surf! Doesn't get the kill, foul play. 
It don't matter with no physical at all. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Parabolic charge this bitch. Oh yeah. Yummy delicious. I like that. Oh, I hate killing a Houndoom. Honestly, because Houndoom is one of my favorite dark types. So if you look at my top favorite five dark types, we've got High Dragon as number one. Number two would be Bishop. Number three would be Crocodile. Number four would be Hound. Actually, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Number three is Tarantar. Number four is uh, Bishop, and number five is Houndoom. So that's my top five dark types. If you guys think we'll let you join Team Flat after all this, you've got nothing coming. Did I ever say I want to become a member of Team Flat? The fuck you, okay? You know what happens you assume things and you turn out to be wrong? You make an ass out of yourself. Dumb ass. What would make him think after coming all this way, fighting through all their grunts, all their admins, it's like, you know, I oh, hear this was just an, an application to become a member of Team Flair. Idiot. God damn it. Seriously, I do not understand some people. I do not understand what goes through some people's heads. I just, I, 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 I just, I, I just don't know. Clearly these guys were not properly trained for their job, if this is the kind of actions that they conduct. But now all team, all the, no way, this puts the no in no way. Contact Lysander, call for reinforcements. Buddy, not even your reinforcements can save you. Alright, we're just going to use the Master Ball in this. There's no reason why we shouldn't, because basically... Ha! Ah! What? I will say this is probably one of the best moments in the game, just this, this, this scene right here. I will say, consider this is our first 3D game of Pokemon, my god, this would have blown the socks out of every single Pokemon player. I mean this, and then Y with Eveltal, but this scene right here, get those feels. Here is Xerneas. The only thing that pissed me off about this game, and I reckon the last couple of games, is that they shiny locked the legendaries. Which I think is stupid because it's like, why wouldn't you want the shinies to be... Why wouldn't you want the legends to be shiny at all? Like, it, it doesn't make sense why... You know, because every other legend is shiny. Like, you look at, um... You know, look at Ruby and Diamond... Ruby and Sapphire, Diamond and Pearl, Heart Gold, Soul Silver... Even, like... Even black and white, black and white too allows for legendary shinies. So I don't understand why they wouldn't let the, shi the legendaries be shiny. Which actually, I think it fuses a lot of shiny hunters because they're like just like, bro, you let us have legendary shinies all this time, but now you put the brakes on that. Like, why? So this is going to be uh, transferred for uh, an, a friend safari encounter, but we won't do that right away. And Genesis party, no, yes, because this is still part of the friend safari lock. We've got our friends from the friend safari here. We're not using Xerneas. Xerneas is basically a static encounter. What a relief! Now they can't use the ultimate weapon! You're amazing, Sharpedo! A legendary Pokemon wanting to be your friend like that? It's unbelievable! What a startling development. I never would have thought you'd really a chosen one. So this is the mighty Xerneas. I expected more from a Pokemon called a legend. Coming from the guy who doesn't have a legend. Oh! Okay. You desire help from people? You need help from a human? Uh, what's going on with that outfit? Is that really you, Lysander? Um, whatever. Should I better beat you? What are you doing here? For me, victory is using the ultimate weapon. In order to do that, I need to reclaim the legendary Pokemon's power and send it to that weapon once again. Um, well, if you just missed out 30 seconds ago, I just sent the Pokemon to PC, so... That's kind of out of the option, so I don't understand how you could think for a second that you can get the legendary Pokemon if it's in the PC. Just saying. I'll be taking the legendary Pokemon back now. This time I won't lose. 
I too shall use the Mega Ring and Mega Stone that you researched during your travels. Alright! This is it! The Big Battle with Big Bad Team Flare Boss Lysander! Yah! Boom! He's ready to go! And has a Menshaya! Surprise! Oh shit! Alright, we're gonna swap it out here. Let's bring in uh, RuPaul. RuPaul! We got a big fighting type problem over here! That's what Gold Guys is for. Hydro Kick! Ah, bitch! Ah! <laughs> Lacey! Oh, Acrobat! Oh, no! Woo, boy! We got the Lacey to cover us, though, so we be we're good. We are good. We are good. Alright, so that gives us enough that basically we should be able to live another acrobatics. There we go! I knew we were gonna live! The only thing that would have changed that is, wait for it, a crit! But crit didn't come, so fantastic. RuPaul, baby! RuPaul, Pyro! Fudgesicles, okay. Unknown, well, I don't have any berries, so. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and swap into Uluru, because Uluru seems to be the best man for the job. We're gonna make up the Vesuvius that this Pyro killed, motherfucker. Alright, so we eat it up, we eat it up! Freaking 50 damage, bro! Uluru just going. Pass it up, have another one, please. Alright, so first off, let's have some stealth rocks here, because I know some stealth rocks can do us some good over here. Look at that! Oh, but he gets the burn. Motherfucker. God damn it. But we got the rock set up here, which is pretty nice. Unfortunately, though, we're burnt. Which basically means all our moves are going to do jack shit unless... Unless... So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and go for one Stone Edge. And if we live, we live. We don't, we don't. But basically what it is, is um, we can go ahead and use a full restore, use our first heal in the next turn. Look at that! Look at that! Critical hit! Yeah! As you go to that stone edge, yeah! <laughs> River Road, baby, let's go! Every pause 57, we want to learn Phantom Falls. Yes! Now we're talking! We got an actual ghost type offensive move. Sorry, Pain Split, you're out for Phantom Force. So we go ahead and recover that LP, that life, life points, haha. <laughs> And they're down to 26. Next set is Honchkrow. Oh, would you look at that? It's got a little damage from rocks. Huh! Alright, let's go ahead now. I don't know if this has a fine type move. So I'm going to guess it's just going to go for the flying type move just to get the kill. I'm going to assume. Night Slash. Oh, shit. Okay. Now we're cool. We're cool. We're cool. We're cool. A Thunderbolt should do the job. Let's go! Yeah! Hunch crow! More like hunch fuck off. <laughs> and we got that extra experience. Last Pokemon is a Gyarados. Gyarados. With Intimidate. Oh no! Now Bulldoze won't do anything, but you're a flying type, so it don't really matter! We're going to go ahead and go for Thunderbolt. Yes, I know you're going to Mega Vault. Yes, I know. Hardy, har har. But Thunderbolt should still do a decent amount of damage to a Mega Gyarados. Just saying. Mold Breaker? Blur. Oh wait, shit. Did that give you a dry skin? Uh... Oh shit! No! Salazzo! It was bound to happen. It was bound to happen. Like, I'm not angry with that because it was bound. Something was gonna die. It was just bound to happen. So, we're gonna go for a close combat. We're gonna go get the kill on the Mega Gyarados here. Honestly, I wasn't, ex I wasn't expecting Earthquake. I didn't know. I, I know it gets access to it, but I didn't think the game one would have Earthquake. Uh, oh, excuse me. Because um, I didn't expect the, um, the in-game Pokemon to have TM moves. But sure enough, I had an Earthquake and Slazzle's gone. So I'm I'm upset, but not as upset because it was like, it wasn't a crit, number one, number two. It was just like, yeah, I got done. 
It's over. Fools with no nation will continue to befoul this beautiful world. They will go on until one thing, only thing left to do is squabble over the remaining scraps of hope. Yeah, that pose. Just, just, yeah. Be the man who yeah. I need some apples. <laughs> Uh. Um, know what I think? Even if there's only a little bit of something, it's still best to share it. Even you managed to use Mega Evolution. That's because Gyarados shared its power with you, didn't it? And not just Gyarados, but your other Pokemon too! Or well, isn't that just trying to put a band-aid over the situation there, Sean? But I mean, I'll give her credit for trying. Uh. The legendary Pokemon's gone, so you can't use the ultimate weapon anymore, right? I've never seen Serena so unsure of herself. You don't have to worry about the future all by yourself. I think everyone should work together to make a beautiful, a better beautiful world. If that were possible, all world, all wars would have ended years long ago. I can only see one future. One where selfish, foolish humans think about nothing other than themselves and steal more and more from one another. It's a tragic future. Sadly, and I mean, even though I know this game, sadly, it's sad because... It's true that what he's saying is actually true. The world is going to come to a point where resources are going to become limited and it's just going to keep taking or trying to buy off someone else's resources. It's sad, but it's the reality of life, really. The original purpose of this device was to bring a Pokemon back to life, but the ancient king transformed it into the ultimate weapon. Mm. When the legendary Pokemon awakened, it took back much of its energy, its power that has been sent to the ultimate weapon. There's not much power left, but there is enough to use at once. Sharpedo, Sycamore's pupils, let us live forever. That's right, I shall grant you eternal life and write your name in my death note. I'll give you a pain of endlessly waiting for a beautiful world to finally be built. Sharpedo, Shona, let's get out of here. Right. Get ready the fireworks. An event 3,000 years in the making! The ultimate weapon has been reactivated! It launches into the sky, breaking through the stratosphere and spinning into orbit. Oh, but wait, it's making its return town because gravity! Boom! And it wasn't even damaged. That's pretty impressive. The fact that the, the, the weapon can withstand its own blast, yeah, maybe not now, but you just see it like, I'm pretty sure they don't have like the pedals breaking off or whatever it is, but not now. I mean, come on. Come on. <sighs> Anyways. The actual weapon is apparently destroyed and gone for good. Phew, I'm so glad you're all safe. I really respect the courage and kindness that you all, all of you showed. Thank you, we're all fine. Are you guys are okay, Tiano? Oh, yeah, as you can see, we're, we're doing great. Uh, thanks for asking. We work together to save the Pokemon connected to Stone to Route 10. And most of them battling with Team Plants and Cena and Dexio, though. Who are these Cena and Dexio you speak of? We're the masked heroes. Don't worry about Tiano. Don't worry about Tiano. We're all doing the best we could to stop Team Flare's plans. Oh, we have a little bit of news for you all. We managed to destroy the machine license lab that was spying on people Holocaust's transmissions. So, we won't have to deal with Team Flare anymore? Now I can go back to filling up my Pokedex? So it's finally over, right? We can now go back to our adventure, right? Let's go back to Anastar City and start over from where we left off! That does sound nice, Shauna. That does sound nice. Shout? Sound nice. Thank you, Sharpino. For what? I have so much respect for you as a friend. Aww. Shauna. Give me the right feels. It's because I respect you that I want to beat you in battle as your rival. I really mean it. Um, I mean, we could have had a tender moment, but okay, apparently not. A long, long time ago. A very long time ago. The man made an ultimate weapon. Using it required the life force of many Pokemon. 
The Pokemon granted eternal life learned this. The resurrected eternal Pokemon left the man's side. The man was surprised and also sad. He had revived it so they could be together. Day after day passed, but they were never to meet. Eventually, he became a mere shell of a man. A man condemned to wander forever by the light of the weapon. And a Pokemon who also wanders eternally. Where is it now? What do I have to do to meet it? Woo! What an episode! So that's gonna wrap it up for us guys. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you hit like button down below for us because as always, your support is going to be appreciated and in the next episode, we will do as Shauna says, we will head back to Anastasia City and continue our journey where we left off in our endeavours to become the champion of Kalos. So until next time I see you guys, stay safe, stay sharp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Later!